When buying a virtual private server, you're only really presented with three bits of information. How many CPU cores you get, how much RAM is allocated to you, and the price. Now, what's infuriating is the fact that these three things are the least helpful bits of information you can use when making your purchases. If you buy based on these, you'll lose every single time. Let me explain. Here are articles from Forbes, PC Mag, and Website Builder Expert for the best VPS. Well, all three pretty major publications clearly recommend you go for Bluehost or HostGator. Let's go with that recommendation. Here's the cheapest virtual private server from HostGator. That's currently $23.95. You get two cores and two gigs of RAM. Now, here's the exact same resources, two gigs of RAM and two CPU cores from A2 Hosting for $5.99. So, which one's better? Logically, you would assume that more expensive equals more better. Uh, nope. For their CPUs, HostGator is using Intel Xeon E5 2630V3 from 2014, running at 2.4 GHz. And A2 Hosting is using Intel Xeon E5 2620V4 from 2016, running at 2.1 GHz. If we would benchmark these two CPUs against each other, the HostGator one is only more powerful by around 10%, yet the price is four times higher not a good deal. If we add Bluehost to this chart, uh, it still doesn't look good. Wait a minute, so this means that Natasha was lying to us this whole time? I'll never emotionally recover from this. Anyways, does this mean that if you see the same amount of resources offered, you always buy the cheaper option and then you're good? Wrong, again. Let's add another competitor to this, Scala Hosting. Their cheapest plan is around $25 if you buy using my discount link and comes with the exact two CPU cores, just a little bit more RAM. However, their servers use Intel Xeon Gold 644Y processors from 2023, running at 3.6 gigahertz. It's basically nine times faster than Bluehost, HostGator, or A2 Hosting. The point I'm trying to make here is that hardware matters. Two CPU cores from a 2023 processor running at 4 GHz is not the same as two CPU cores from a 2014 processor running at 2 GHz. But how are you supposed to know what providers use what hardware if all they give you are these seemingly random numbers? Naturally, no sane person would spend half a year comparing these CPU hardware of various providers. Well, I've actually contacted every major web hosting provider asking for specific hardware information, and when they wouldn't give it to me, I'd still buy their plans and log into the server to determine what kind of hardware they were using. My goal was to find providers that charge a fair amount for what they're offering. Here's a list of what I found out. Higher number means more powerful hardware, but I also had to take the price into consideration. In the end, here's a list of what I decided to be the best value and bought. Contabo, A2 Hosting, Hetzner, Scala Hosting, DigitalOcean, and Cloudways. Basically, if you need a VPS, I recommend all of these choices. They come in at different price points and offer different features that I'll get into just a second so you can make a better decision. But my favorite choice that I would deem the best VPS for my needs at least is Scala Hosting. However, there's way more to this than just the hardware they're using and the price they're selling their services at. There are actually three major aspects you need to consider or you'll probably regret your purchase in the future. Let's start with, are you getting a shared virtual CPU or a dedicated virtual CPU? For example, with Contabo, you're getting four virtual CPU cores that are shared and eight gigabytes of RAM for $5.50. That's a lot of resources. If we take a look at our chart, that's the most amount of resources for the least amount of money. That's a good deal. And they're using AMD Epic 7282 processors from 2019 running at 2.8 gigahertz that are three times faster than our benchmark of A2 hosting that we did at the beginning of the video. The plan looks juicy, and well, it is juicy. That's a good deal. So what's the problem? 
Well, it's those darn shared virtual CPU cores. The way they work, let's say Contabo servers have 16 physical total CPU cores. Contabo then uses these to create 32 virtual CPU cores, shifting and spreading the resources around. Technically, they should only have eight users on that server that each have four virtual CPUs. In reality, do you think that's what's happening? They oversell the server to let's say 16 people and hope that most of you will only use one or two virtual CPUs worth of power. If there are users that use a lot, it significantly lowers the pool of available resources for others and well, your DPS slows down. A lot. And these problems can be very clearly seen since I've purposely set up my website to leak memory. It takes a bit too long to clear its log of useless processes and they keep piling up, taking up more and more resources. But this isn't designed to go above my contable limits. All of these red spots are server downtime because someone was hogging resources during these days and my created inefficiency couldn't be handled. I needed to go and manually restart my server to clear the cache for the problem to go away because until I restarted, my server would be down. I had the same test and the same problem with Hetzner. Of course, you wouldn't set up your website to have like a memory leak on purpose, but to avoid this problem altogether, you want dedicated virtual CPUs. In this case, each user is locked with a set amount of resources and they can't go around borrowing from neighbors. Even Contabo themselves have this option available, calling it virtual dedicated servers and Hetzner has this tab for dedicated virtual CPU options. However, these are much more expensive, as you would expect. In other words, Contabo and Hetzner are a good deal, but it's a lottery. It's cheap, it's fast, but only if you don't get on an overcrowded server. In terms of speed, my Contabo VPS performed wonderfully for the whole period I've had it, loading my test website in 0.7 seconds. But speed was not an issue with any of the choices I recommend at the beginning. Even the slowest one was still loading my website in around one second, which is well above the industry average of around two seconds. Both Contabo and Hetzner are incredibly cheap, give you plenty of operating system choices, root access, and Hetzner even has a very modern looking control panel compared to Contabo. But they offer very little in terms of support and additional features. And if you're looking for a cheap option using dedicated virtual CPUs, go for A2 hosting. Yes, you get fewer resources for the money you're paying, but you get stability. And of course, you also need to think about what operating system will you use. Some control panels or programs require specific operating systems to be installed for them to work properly. S panel needs Rocky Linux. Cloud Panel needs Debian, and Cyber Panel needs Ubuntu. Some people like using Windows, and some people go for Alma Linux. There's really no right choice, but just make sure to check what the provider is offering before buying if you know what you'll be using the server for. Or get providers that pretty much offer everything, like DigitalOcean. And this basically ties into my third point. Do you have the skills necessary to use your VPS? As there are two types of VPS services, managed and unmanaged. Well, what's the difference? Unmanaged services require you to use the command prompt to install stuff onto your server. As soon as you buy your VPS, you'll get an IP address and login information. Using third-party software like Putty, you'll log into that IP address using your login credentials. And before you can use any kind of interface at all, you'll need to install a free or paid control panel. It's all done by commands. And of course, different operating systems have different command line structures. If you're a beginner, it's much harder to do basic tasks. You might even need to open ports to use some services or have firewall rules set up to protect yourself from DDoS attacks and various malicious hacks, let's call it that way. On the other hand, we have managed VPS services that come pre-installed and pre-configured with everything you need to, well, manage your server. You won't have to use command lines to install any kind of software because it can all be done using the mouse and pre-installed management software. Scala hosting and Cloudways are an example of a managed VPS. As you can see here, 
instead of a black box of confusion, we have an easy to use interface where I can control any aspect of the server I want and it all gets done automatically. In essence, you'll have a much, much, much easier time managing emails, SSL certificates, separate websites and server settings. The problem is that managed VPS services are always more expensive and usually by a lot. As you can see here, Contabo, Hetzner and DigitalOcean are all unmanaged and Scala Hosting together with Cloudways are managed. The price difference is quite steep. Now, why did I say that for me personally, Scala Hosting feels like the best VPS? Well, they offer dedicated virtual CPUs, so you won't run into neighbor problems. They have a wide selection of operating systems to choose from, and they use the newest, most powerful CPUs out of every option, plus they are a managed service. However, at the same time, they're more expensive than Contabo or Hetzner. So what should you buy out of all of these options? Well, if you want it cheap and it's not a super serious project, Contabo will do just fine. A one-step upgrade would be A2 Hosting, just due to the fact that they don't share resources with other users. If you're tech savvy and have a bigger budget, go for DigitalOcean. It's still relatively cheap and offers a ton of software for free that can be pre-installed onto your server. It's also easy to scale your server whenever you need more power. However, it is still unmanaged. And if you're looking for a huge time saver, 24 seven support, the best possible performance, and you can afford to pay for these conveniences, Scala Hosting is my number one choice, Cloudways is my number two choice. Because Cloudways looks better, but Scala Hosting has the smartest support agents that have helped me solve absolutely any problems I've had. There is also no waiting queue for the support as well, and I just value that more than simple looks. I hope you learned something. Feel free to find tutorials on how to set up your VPS if you go for the cheap unmanaged option right here or browse around my channel for more reviews. Good luck and I hope I'll see you around.